I bet your next video is going to be a 92. <laughs> New, hey, 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 hey. Bust them guns. Shut your ass up. You don't know me. <laughs> I bet your next video. I'm just playing with you, man. You're absolutely right. That's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm talking shit. My next video is a Beretta 92. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. You know me so well in such a short time, my friend. Uh, yeah, this is it. Clear. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Look at that bitch! Look at it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I don't care what you have to say, man, about this. I don't... I don't. I know there's a big ass dot on top of it. I know. I know there's a fat ass plate on there. I know. I get it. But I like it. I like it a lot. The only thing I don't like is that I lose my I lose my sights. And in 2024, man, I don't understand. This is a this is an OEM plate right here from Beretta. In 2024, I don't understand why manufacturers are making optics ready firearms without suppressor height sights. I mean, MMP is doing it. Uh, Glock did it with the 19X MOS version. I'm sure some other people have done it. Um, Shadow Systems does a good job because it's already cut for uh, it's already cut for the optic. But I'm not sure why everybody's not doing it now. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I know, I know, it's not all black. This is the, this is the blackest I could get it. Uh, but yeah, man. I, I rushed. I think they overcharged me 20 bucks at uh at Academy too because I saw it listed for one price and then it rang up for another price. I should have argued it, but I was just so I was just trying to get out the store so fast because it was so calm in there. There was nobody in there. I went right when they opened and uh this guy kept the guy who was helping me, he kept saying stupid shit and like sneezing all over the place and I was just trying to get out of there. So, you know, they got my 20 bucks. But uh yeah, that was, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in for my, for my hundred dollar mail in rebate. And, uh, the only thing I got left is I got my, uh, uh oh, what are they called? I got my lock grips, lock grips on the way, which somebody recommended a long time ago. I was a hard head about it. And then as soon as I got them, I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's amazing. But this is the 92 XI. SAO single op single action only. It's real nice. Let me put a uh, let me put a snap cap in here. That's a snap cap. All right, relax. That's a snap cap. Relax, relax, fellas, relax. Woo. Yeah, that feels nice. That feels nice. I wonder how, oh, look at how soft that is. Oh, man, I can get that thing. I can get that thing going. Oh, man. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of kind of satisfies, too. It kind of sa kind of satisfies. I'm so... I just got this here, man. I just got this. I just slapped this X300 on here. Just slapped my my last PB3 on here. And uh, and then I hit record because I'm just happy to... Uh, I mean, this thing still sells... Oh, this thing smells... Still smells like freedom. Oh, it still smells like freedom. And look at that. Look at that. Made in America! Not that foreign shit. Not that... It, not that I, I Italian tight suit shit. <laughs> no, nah, I, I don't mind it being made in Italy. I like Italy. You know, foreign foreign countries are funny because sometimes we like foreign countries, sometimes we don't. Like Italy is cool. Uh video games, I guess Japan, that's cool. Uh I think this is uh the, this glass is made in Japan. So that's still cool. But you know, once we get to China, once we get to China, people start getting irritated. Yeah, doesn't doesn't get too much more American than Tennessee. 
Maybe Texas. What's most the most American state? Uh, I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Texas is pretty American. I mean, it's, their state flag is pretty, it's pretty American looking. Um, but, you know, it's all American, whatever. Not trying to start that. Um, I know it's not California. <laughs> um, all right. All right. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. I'm excited about this. Uh, bust them guns. You predicted correctly, sir. Uh, yeah. This is uh, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. So we'll see. I'll take it to the range next range trip. Still a little upset about these uh, that they don't have suppressor right sights. I called Beretta. I called them yesterday, and this very nice young lady picked up the phone. Leave a buck. There you go. Cash App Venmo, leave a buck. Uh, thanks, Daniel Lugo. Appreciate you, homie. I got that. Uh, I got that. Thanks. Appreciate the love. Uh, I called Beretta. Very nice young lady answered the phone. And uh, she said that uh, I asked her if I could buy the suppressor height sights, the same ones that come on the... Uh, the same ones that come on the uh, the tactical version. The tactical version is two hundred dollars more, and I was going back and forth about it. I don't like the frame of the tactical version because it's all white, where or like silverish gray or something with the with the black. I, I I don't know. I was going back and forth, back and forth about it, and it did have a threaded barrel, but I can always get a threaded barrel whenever I'm ready, whenever I get good and ready. Uh, this one had, this one was two hundred dollars less expensive, and it had more of the firearm was black. So I picked the uh, the blacker one or blackest. Yeah. And uh, this slide would be easy to Cerakote later. So I may do that. We'll see. We'll see. Or I may just leave it, may just leave it like this. I don't know. Um, yeah, man, I like this. I like this kind of, kind of satisfies the staccato itch with the, the 9211 feel and it satisfies the Beretta itch single action very nice very nice very nice very nice yeah that's real nice that's a real nice uh not the trigger is not as not as crispy as I was expecting it's okay it's all right but I'm sure when I'm firing it when I get it out to the range now, I will say, if you look at that, uh, it's got some, like that little uh, pattern right there is nice. Those little grooves, you see them? See the grooves? Is it is it focused? Can you see? Yeah, those grooves are kind of nice. Yeah, that's a tall ass optic though. And you know what? I love it. I love it. It's like, look at me. Look at me. All right. What are you guys talking about? Because uh, this is all I got. I can't tell you, I can't tell you much about this, uh, other than, other than I like it, and uh, when I get those lock grips in, it is on. Okay, it is on. I get those maybe next beginning of next week, and uh, I'm gonna chill. This is this is it for a while. I'm not purchasing anything else, except, <laughs> except. If I see that Beretta A300, have y'all seen that? That patrol that patrol shotgun? The Beretta Ultima A300? That shit is money, dude. Have you seen that shit? I can't find it anywhere. I saw it on uh, Gun Broker. So, of course, you know, Gun, Gun Broker has everything. Even if it's out of stock everywhere, somebody would be selling it on Gun Broker, you know, for a ridiculous price, but... Somebody asked where I where I sell uh, firearms. It's gun broker, but you know I don't I don't recommend that. I say try to find somewhere else. Try to sell it to a buddy, you know, like do a cash exchange with a buddy because gun broker taxes the shit out of you, <laughs> you know, which is crazy, you know. But um, it's really hard to like move firearms, so um, that's why I always encourage people to be thoughtful when you purchase because it's really hard to move them, um, and then people want you know dirt 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 cheap prices for their you know for guns even if you know they've only been shot a couple times they still want you know it's used you know whatever so whew, this thing 
just the weight of this thing. This thing feels like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, so everything's, uh, it's fully dressed up, X300 PB3, and the, the uh, plate, the OAM factory plate, I like it. I like it. Like it, love it, love it. Like it, like it. Very nice. All right, what do you guys, so yeah, besides that one, that's the only one I'm, I've been really looking at. And maybe another 19. I, I think about running a 19 with maybe like butt ass naked. A old, you know, not the old 19, but a non MOS 19. Just getting one butt ass naked and just having it, just to have it paying 400 bucks for the blue label special whenever, uh, whenever I get around to getting over there. Um, but besides that and the patrol, the A300, I was going back and forth between the, between the Mossberg, uh, 590A1 with the Magpul clothes on it, but I don't, I, I don't know. I like the butt stock, but I don't, I don't know if I like the rest of the Magpul stuff on there. Uh, the, uh, I can't think of it right now. This part, that part, the cart you grip onto, um, to charge it. I don't know if I like that part of the Magpul. It's kind of like a wonky shape that I don't like, but, uh, that, uh, that semi-automatic, uh, Beretta A300 Ultra Patrol, Ooh, man, Ultima Patrol, Ultra Patrol, whatever. That thing is like beautiful. That side shot, that silhouette. A lot of stuff that sells me on firearms is the silhouette. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just. I'm gonna be honest. It, it, that it sells me. So uh, if I like the silhouette, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention. Yeah. So all right, what are you talking about, man? I'm, you know, I'm so su you're shocked that I'm back this fast, huh? Uh, let's see. Beville's production 1314. Bobby, stop it, man. <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off at work. Good thing I have my own office. You're in there farting, aren't you? You got your own office. You're in there just ripping it after lunch. Oh, you're in there ripping one. <laughs> Great Viz, not a Glock fanboy. But 30 years of buying firearms, I went and got a Glock 19 MOS on that military discount. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. About to get the mailbox as well. Hey, man, just because of you, man, keep it coming. Uh, yeah, man, I, I like those mailboxes, man. When I, I carried my, uh, I used to be a 508T, is it 508T, the, uh, the Hollison, and I'd carry it all day, and then by the end of the day, I'd have all kind of lint and, you know, uh, man tit ash in there and all kind of sweaty, you know, I got a dad bod, so that shit was looking so now I got the, I like the, I like the enclosed because I can just take my t-shirt, wipe the front off and I'm, and I'm, and I'm up and running. I mean, with this, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a holster anymore. Uh, the, uh, the gentleman that bought it, I, so I gave him the holster with it, but, um, probably should have kept the holster and just, you know, but I wasn't sure how soon I was going to get another Beretta, but then I saw that hundred dollar rebate. So I had to get it, man. So yeah, man. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Positive reactions, 4044. What's up, bro? What's up, homie, bro? That MMP 2.0 is pressure. Yes. Yes, it is. It is definitely pressure. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Make it hurt, drill sergeant. Make it hurt. Huh? Stormtrooper accuracy. I keep dropping by for that 19X video. We know it's coming. You can't resist. Hey, 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 hey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. You know me. You, I, you know, I can't even, I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Yeah, I've, if I see it, if if I saw it today, I would have got it. But you know, whatever. Uh, I'm I'm fighting the urge. But if I see that 19x MOS, it's gonna be hard to walk out of, man. Have a great one, man. Appreciate you, homie. Drizza 23. Not gonna spoil it. Beretta. <laughs> yeah. And and we're here. Fresh from the store, fresh from Academy. Native Earthlings, 4144. I just put I just put the half blue Overwatch Precision on my 19. Nice. Total game changer. Has me falling back in love with my 19. Yeah, it doesn't take much, man. I mean, 19s are so simple that, you know, just one little small, you know what I mean? What to for me, one little small thing, like a light change, throw a barrel in there, you know, and it just 
Or if I really want to get funky, I can get that Radian Afterburner and it just changes the whole game, man. It's just, Glock is such a simple piece of machinery. It's just beautiful. Keeps her stuck like glue in my hand while shooting. Uh, just ups the quality of my grip incredibly. I can't say enough good about adding a magwell to the 19. Love the look of it too. Nice, I might have to do that, man. Uh, EKKNR. Went on a Bobby Dynamite watch party this morning. I appreciate you, man. Now we get another. Yes, sir. And another one. Another one. Kicking back and pressing play. Also picked up a 45 yesterday. I swear every time I pick it up, I whisper 45. Well, you said it. Guess what I have in, in uh, guess what I have here, my friend? I have a Yeah, it's such a beautiful, so balanced, so balanced, so beautiful, just amazing. Look at that thing. Let me see. Do I have? Yeah. Let's take this empty man and put it in here. Clear. Oh man, very nice, very nice, very nice. PB3, another PB3. That's four. I'm done with the PB3s. I've got four of them. That's enough. I'm just uh. Keep going ape shit with these dots. And then I got my, here's another one on this, uh, on this uh, Glock. Just all over the place. This is, a, so I took the X300 off the Glock and uh, this is what I've been carrying today. I put the TLR7 on there with my QVO holster. I'm not gonna clear that one because I'm uh, probably gonna leave the house today again and I'm just gonna leave it up there. So that was not clear, but I'm gonna leave it up there. All right, everybody good? Good. Cool, cool, cool. Native Poppy, 68, 6818. Laugh my ass off. First time on your channel. Love your humor. All right. Hey, first time on your channel. Rack of applause for you. Oh, wait. See, see? Forgot about that safety already. Rack of applause for you. Yeah, that safety's nice. I think this is my only... You know what I saw? You know what I saw? I saw when I was picking this one up, when I was buying this one, I say pick up like it didn't cost me a bunch of money. Uh, when I was picking this one up, um, I saw the the P365, the standard and the P365 XL. And what they did was, I don't know if y'all remember, when they first came out, you had to take the rear sight out to mount the dot. Now, they have a rear and a front dot and the plates in the middle like all other fucking guns. And you can co-witness. So I'm probably, I, I, I've been leaving SIG alone. I ain't been messing with SIG. You know, I'm not a SIGger. <laughs> I've been leaving, I've left them alone, but I used to have a P365X and I used to have a P365XL. And that makes me like them a little bit more. So I don't know. I don't know. And I think my, I think Mrs. Dynamite would like a P365 with those with the safety on there because the safety is really easy to switch off and on. It's really easy to just do it. She had a I, I used to have she used to have a Shield Plus, but that safety was a little bit more difficult. But I think the P365 safety is just boom, easy. So she likes safeties, so I may have to uh I don't know, I may have to consider that. Look at that. I just I gotta just stay out of the store, man. Stay out of the store. And everything will be okay. Just stay out of the store. Just stay out. All right. What were you talking about? Uh, funny as hell. Thank you, sir. I got a Smitty 4-inch compact. I put an Apex flat face trigger kit and the Floyd's Magwell plates on it. Totally different gun. And running those Holliston 507 CX2. Stay safe out there, bro. It's crazy everywhere. Loving your content. Sub. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that, uh, Native Poppy. Uh, yeah, man, welcome. Hey, since it's your first time, hey, leave a buck. <laughs> Love shooting. Venmo cash out. Uh, you know, if you want to. If not, you know, whatever. James, 3302139. Man, I'd be waiting for you to upload. Keep up the dope videos, Bobby. I am keeping it up. Pause. <laughs> I have an SLR Magwell on my 45. Do you? You have it on this? You have it on your 45. Yeah. Even though, even though I like this one, this this 45 
It feels way better. Man. It just feels better. It just feels like everything I need, nothing I don't. But I wanted to have a cute gun. I wanted to have just something fun and cute. And so, you know, had to have just one. Had to have just one fun, cute gun. And when I get that, uh, when I get that, uh, those lock grips in here, it's just going to set this thing off. It's just, it's going to just set it off. Whole nother level. Whole nother level, man. Whole nother level. Uh, the overzealous collector. What's up, homie? 8198. Good to see you still going strong. Yeah, I'm like the, I like the look and function of a magwell. Also, now I'm in the, I'm on to the barrel being flush with the sight. I'm into the barrel being flush with the sight. Threaded, threaded, threaded barrel plus comp gets out there. Yeah, I like that look. I do. I also like this underbite look. So, I don't know. I'm in between. This one right here where it's so close, my, uh, my, um, my old P was the same way. My staccato P had that same kind of feel. Um, thing looks like a muscle. Man, that thing looks like a muscle, boy. Jeez. Sheesh. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. I forgot. What was the Overzealous Collector was not your first YouTube channel name. What was your first one? I, I keep forgetting it. But that's the that's the name that I met you under. And then, then you changed it to the Overzealous. What was the first one? Remind me. Remind me of the first name. Sparky790. What's up, homie? I'm with you on the acro. Not worth the downside since it uh, seems to be seems doesn't seem any more reliable than some of the other options i say this is a big fan of their rifle dots yeah i mean you know i think uh one, when they did the p1 i think that was their chance to fuck up when they had the low battery issues or the no battery issues where the charge didn't last and then you know i saw all the 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 gun tubers and the, and the cool kids saying how great it was and uh then everybody had one and everybody had you know and they were selling out. You couldn't find one, and they were out of stock. And, you know, I had to see what all the hype was about. But then when I got it, I was like, nah, man. Nah, not 600 You know, if you're going to be at the top end, that six, $700 for the dots, I don't want any problems. I want to be able to leave that shit outside for 17 months. <laughs> and I have not have a single issue. I want that shit to be hard use uh, and not uh, not have those kind of issues. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, I, I just not not for me. I get really I get really particular when we start talking about that high high end stuff. I start to really ask questions, and um, but that mid price makes me feel good. Mid price with a good warranty. I think uh, the PB threes have a pretty solid warranty. I tried to sign up for the warranty and it it wouldn't let you sign up, but it said like for the for life of it, you know we'll we'll support you, which you know you don't know how long that company's gonna last. Hopefully they long they last for a long time, but. Um, hopefully they last as long as I still like these dots, but, um, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Everyday Gents EDC made my MPX, MMPX, just like the 19 and 45 feels amazing. Now I know what people mean when they say that gun feels with the full size grip with compact slide feels amazing. It does. Shoots like a dream. Oh yes, it does. It does. And not a dry dream either. I have a 50, oh, sorry. I have a 58T on the CNH plate with the X300 with the QVO thumb cliff. Okay, how's that thumb cliff working out? When they came out with that, I was like, eh, okay. I don't know. But, you know, if you like it, you know, let me know. Um, let me know how it shoots. If you feel like you can really keep that gun flat. I thought it was a cool idea, though, but I just wasn't, I don't, I don't know. It just it was something new. Uh, there's one of them that it, like, folds out and folds in. I forget what it's called, but. It, it pops out and pops in. I thought that was kind of neat. That was kind of neat, but it's probably going to be more expensive than just a piece. Yeah. And Lee, what's up, homie? Man, I've been thinking about getting another MNP 2.0, but yeah, I've been paying off credit cards, so I'll probably wait a few months. Watching these videos help me curb my cravings. I'm living through you. Bobby! Yeah, man. I, uh, you know, I sold my Beretta and I got this one. And, uh, you know, this dot was a gift and I had this light already. So uh, the only thing I really bought was the plate and the, uh, yeah, I bought all of it. You know, I bought all of it. I'm not going to do that, that gun addict math that we do. The gun addict math. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, 
like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and it's it's nice paying off uh paying off credit card debt. So it's it's been going well. I'm I'm gonna probably knock out two of my three cards by May. If I if I cannot buy anything else, which I'm not gonna buy anything else, at least before May. I'm not gonna buy anything else. So if I can keep it like this, the only thing I'm gonna buy is ammo. And I'm probably gonna wait till uh payday grab some ammo probably grab a thousand rounds and then i'm gonna just that's it i'm gonna have to put a pause until let's see may june yeah like may yeah may plus that's summertime so my kids are gonna be out of school and uh that's when the food cost of food goes the fuck up <laughs> that's when the that's when the cost of food goes the fuck up <laughs> oh man and then my kid will be home from college shit Uh, let's see, John eighty one sixty three. Love the VCR on your pistols. Man, you just told on yourself. You got to be an eighties baby or a seventies baby talking about VCRs. These twenty year olds don't know what the fuck you're talking about. VCR. <laughs> These twenty year olds don't know, have any idea what you VCR. Yeah, man. Uh, you telling on yourself, bro. Yeah, but I, I like them too. I just I just think they're bold and they're uh, they're ridiculous. And uh, they're unnecessary. And uh, that's what I like about them. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I like about them. Don't let me get a revolver and put this bitch on top of a revolver. You're not really going to be bitching then. <laughs> yeah, bust them guns. What's up? Yeah, this is what he said. Expect to see that new 92 in the next video. Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, homie, you're right, man. You got me. You got me, man. You get a like for that one. You get a like for that one. And, uh... Man, I gotta, I gotta pin that one. I gotta, I definitely gotta pin that one, because uh, you, you, you called it. You called it. You called it well. Uh, let's see, Oscar Cortez. Waiting. I was waiting for this video. Been on the fence about the nineteen and the M and P. Hopefully, I can make up my mind soon. Yeah, I mean, no bad choice, man. I like the nineteen, but the M and P is better. Uh, but I just like the nineteen because of how simple it is. You know, if you don't want to buy anything, if you don't want to, if you, you know, you may have to get a plate, but if you're running. One of the plates that the m p comes with you don't even have to buy a plate you know you can just buy your dot run it and you're good to go and that's nice and uh, holsters are plentiful so uh yeah but if you want to you know maybe get your own kind of sites maybe blackout sites maybe you know tritium or adamantium or whatever the fuck you know um whatever kind of metal you want <laughs> i don't know what kind of dots there are uh <laughs> Kryptonium, Krypton. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Uh uh Vibranium. <laughs> whatever. Whatever kind of dot you want to put. Then you know you get a Glock because you're gonna have the options there. So uh I think uh when in doubt, you know, go Glock because uh you'll always be able to get what you need. Uh just the voice. What up, Bobby? Enjoy the videos. You better watch out. Talking about Mrs. Dynamite, you might end up on one of them true crime shows. Hell yeah, we watch them things all the time. We watch Forensic Files. We watch uh, All ID and, and, and HLN. We watch all that stuff. So she would probably murder me and make it that shit look like a suicide. It'd be like, uh, up and rising YouTuber, Bobby Dynamite, found dead in his house. <laughs> for talking. Shouldn't have been talking shit, nigga. <laughs> Oh man, just keep it up. Your videos give me something to watch at work and laugh at. Glad, glad I could help you out. We're gonna end it on that one, man. Like you said, just don't fuck up your marriage over a PSA Oprah. Hell yeah, I am not. I am not sleeping on the sofa over a PSA Oprah, dude. I'm not. I'm gonna go like BCM or Maxim Defense, or I'm gonna spend some money. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna spend some money, if you're gonna be mad, be mad. <laughs> you know, that's like. That's like cheating on your wife and all you did, all you got was like a, a hand job. The fuck? Stick it in. <laughs> You're already cheating. You're already cheating. <laughs> you better fuck every offer she offers up. All right. You better make it worth it. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter where this goes. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. So you might as well go for the gusto, man. Go for it. 
<laughs> all right. Listen, man, it's, it's Tuesday. Love you all. Have a great uh, week. Tuesday is real life, man. If you can make Tuesday awesome. Uh-oh. If you can make Tuesday awesome, then you can make any day awesome. Uh, yeah. So have a good one. Y'all, uh, I'll see you later. I'll be, uh, I'll be fondling this and uh, reading your messages. <laughs> All right. Yeah, have a good one, man. Bye.